new this morning. A cyclist critically injured after being struck by an SUV overnight in Queens. This comes just hours after two other bikers were killed in separate incidents on Tuesday. Good morning. I'm Chris Rag. And I'm Mary Calvi. Welcome to CBS 2 News this morning. These three latest incidents come amid an uptick in deadly crashes involving cyclists in the city. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis is live in Woodhaven with more. Jenna? Mary, so far this year, 17 cyclists have been killed. It's truly tragic. And the cyclist that was hit here is now clinging to life at Jamaica Hospital. You can see the NYPD is still here along with the car involved. And this incident just happened hours after the cyclist celebrated his 27th birthday. A bike remains at the scene where a cyclist was hit along with the car that struck him overnight, left with its front smashed. Police say around 1 this morning, the 27-year-old was riding his bike in a crosswalk at Jamaica Avenue and Woodhaven Boulevard when he was hit. It's not clear who had the green light. The driver stayed on scene, but the victim was rushed to the hospital with severe head trauma. This comes after two cyclists were killed Tuesday in separate crashes. The first deadly accident happened in West Brighton, Staten Island around noon. Police say a 17-year-old boy was riding with his brother when his bike collided with a tow truck in the intersection of Castleton Avenue and Clove Road. Investigators say it appears the truck had the green light and the driver remained at the scene. And in Greenpoint, Brooklyn, a 58-year-old cyclist died in a crash with a box truck on McGinnis Avenue. The truck driver also stayed on scene. These deaths happening on the same day the New York City Council passed a new bill an attempt to make streets safer. The legislation allows cyclists to follow pedestrian walk signals at certain intersections where pedestrians get a head start to cross before traffic gets the green light. However, cyclists would still be required to yield to pedestrians in the crosswalk. An alarming 17 people have been killed while riding a bike in New York City so far this year. Compare that to 10 in all of last year, a number that should be zero. And that bill now heads to Mayor de Blasio for his signature. He's been a huge proponent of keeping our streets safe with a Vision Zero initiative. The cyclist that was hit here remains in critical condition at the hospital. We're live in Woodhaven, Queens. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. Jenna, thanks so much.